sit in person. Gators looking to put the choke on the Seminoles. Werfel to Jack Jackson. It was a 24-3 Gators lead at halftime. But with 13 minutes to play in the fourth quarter, trailing 31-3, Florida State begins the comeback. Zach Crockett busts in from five yards out. It's 31-10, just inside of 13 minutes to play, Craig. Well, what happens here is you get a chance for them to roll out to the right side. There's no pressure at all on the quarterback. And as long as there's no pressure, Chris, there's no way it can happen. 10-04, was 31-17, as can now find Andre Cooper. After the Florida State defense held, Cannell, out of the shotgun, beautiful ball handling skills for Cannell, takes it into the end zone, 31-24, 5-25 to play. Then big players make the big plays in the big games. And Warwick Dunn right here makes the good catch. Now watch him break the tackle right there, goes down the field, 37 yards, sets up the winning touchdown, or would have been the winning touchdown if he had gone for two. More on that in a minute. Rock Preston, meanwhile, a costly fumble early in the game in Gators territory. Some measure of redemption here. He gets in the house, and with 1.45 to play, down by one, Bobby has to make the decision. Do you go for two and the win? Yeah. Do you kick the point, tie the ball game, and maybe get it back? Decides to kick it and tie the game at 31. Florida State had a couple of timeouts left. It ended at 31 all. The Seminoles did get the ball back, marched just barely into Florida territory when the clock ran out 30. Unless he could pull the upset and get the Spartans into a bowl. On the opening drive, Tony Banks to Derek Mason. 31-yard strike. Early on, the Spartans had a 7-0 lead. Penn State would tie it at 7. And then Paterno looks to the bag of tricks. Collins to Mike Archie. He did this earlier in the season. A second touchdown pass on the option. This one to Bobby Ingram, covering 55 yards. It's 14-7 Lions. But the Spartans showed some spunk early on. They would answer. Derek Mason at the goal line. Late in the first quarter. Takes off. Cuts to the sideline. We'll see why Brett Conway's a kicker. Whoa, which way did he go? He couldn't get him. 100 yards. 14 all at this point. Penn State would lead 21-14. Michigan State driving to a fourth and one at the Penn State 16. Dwayne Goulborn. Stuffed at the line by Phil Yaboa Cody. Fumbles the ball. Penn State recovers. Michigan State would never recover. Their team down only 24-17 at halftime. The Michigan State coaches watch this one get away in Joe's house in the third quarter. He, John Carter, you've seen him do it all season long, late in games. The defense may be a step slow. They get tired. Carter never slows down. Five touchdowns, four of them in the second half. That's the worst execution of a coach Dowson we've ever seen. They didn't want to get Joe's head wet, I guess. Gary Collins has the rose, and that's the next stop for the Nittany Lions. Pasadena against the Bulldogs and Rebels. Second quarter, 9-7 state. Josh Nelson, the screen pass to LeMay Thomas, who hits the seam and goes 83 yards. Ole Miss jumps on top 14-9 against their bitter rivals. Second quarter, Ole Miss had a 17-15 lead. The Reigns were coming down, and Bulldog workhorse Kevin Bowie, the one-yard run, his second of the game. The two-pointer failed. Mississippi State wins it 21-17, the first time they beat Ole Miss back-to-back -back since 76 and 77. Tennessee and Vandy. These teams used to be big rivals, but Vandy's program has fallen on hard times. And James Little, man, Stewart. 40-yard touchdown run, his 11th of the season. Stewart, 121 yards, breaks the Tennessee all-time rushing record held by Johnny Jones, 2,852 yards was the old mark. Quarter, Rob Johnson hooking up with the big tight end, Johnny McWilliams, six yards, 7-3 Trojans lead, but the Irish would come right back. Ron Paulus, you know him, Bino's favorite, rolling left and looking for the fullback, Ray Zellers. Nice touch on the 11-yarder, 10-7 Irish at the break. Then in the third, tied 10 apiece. Paulus calling on Paulus. One yard in the score, he's in there. 17-10 Notre Dame. And so we go to the fourth. Field goal try by the Irish. Israel Ifiani gets a mid on it, and Sammy Knight picks it up, and there goes the Sammy man. 56 yards down to the Irish 16, and how the worm turns. Five plays later, Sean Walters bullying his way in from the one. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our second tie of the college football Saturday, 17-all. Rob Johnson's 55 career touchdowns 
breaks the school. They win. Miami figured to remain to face top-ranked Nebraska on New Year's Day. First quarter, no score. BC driving. Mark Hartzell with time. The All-American tight end, Pete Marshall, the score. Pete Mitchell, the Eagles lead 7-0. Third quarter, Eagles up 7-6. Hartzell back to pass. Sap tips it up in the air. His great season continues. Kennard Lang, the interception. Minutes later, Frank Costa will swing out to Trent Jones from the nine. Touchdown, Canes. Miami leads 12-7. Fourth quarter, after a Hartzell fumble, Costa again, this time Chris T. Jones from the 27, Adelaide field goal, Miami wins. 23-7, they figure to get a crack at Nebraska in the Orange Bowl. Defensive end Kenny Holmes said, if we play like we're capable of playing,